got a lot to cover and a lot to talk about. Yeah. I want to get to the album, but I first want to know that I didn't know that you were in The Lion King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a little bit in The Lion King. And yes. How did that come about and how did uh, I not hear about it? It's a really weird story. Uh, <laughs> basically, I grew up a huge fan of the original Lion King film. And one of my really good friends, Childish Gambino, or Donald Glover, sure. as a lot of people know him, yeah. uh, worked on the film. He's the star in the film. And uh, he contacted me while they were working on it and was like, hey, I told John Favreau, the director, uh, that you were a huge fan and he wants you to come in as kind of like a nostalgia consultant to like <laughs> tell them what 90s kids like about Lion King and stuff. So, wow. So that's what I did. I came in and I gave. You're, you're a nostalgia consultant? That's what, that's what. <laughs> I'm for, I'm the guy who knows about nostalgia. So, wow. Hey, man. Dude, this is amazing. This yeah. will get you other gigs. Yeah, exactly. And it did give me another gig. I ended up doing, I did a little bit of slight vocal work on, on the, on the animated film. I did could like... We, could we know if... Will we know it's you when we hear you? No, 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 no. You won't know it's me. It's, oh. uh... It's very, uh... It's very weird. It's like... I do like, like a lot of, like, the background noises. A lot of, like, the... I'm dead serious. Are you sure that you're in this movie? Yeah. Are you, are you sure? In very small parts. Like, if you see, like, an antelope grazing, or you see... Wow. I'm so serious right now. <laughs> Wait, but so they... You went in, they had Chance the Rapper come in, and then you... And, yeah, and they said, hey, can you do an antelope grazing? Yes. And what, what could you give us a, 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 an idea of what that would be like? I'll do it for free this time. But usually, <laughs> close your eyes, everybody. Close your eyes. And if you picture, if you will, an antelope grazing. <clears throat> Does that sound? Wow, that's unbelievable. <laughs> that's really Felt like there was an antelope raising right, right here, in front of you. Right in front of me, uh, dude. Are, we, are you a, a little? <laughs> are you afraid or honored that uh, there was an alligator on the loose in Chicago? <laughs> this is real. There was an alligator on the loose in Chicago, they, and they called it Chance the Snapper. Yes. And this is real. And this is look. It's a real thing. That's the alligator's face. That's Chance the Snapper. See oh, its face? Crazy. Now he's saved. He's okay. He's going to be in a zoo. Do you have yeah. any words for Chance if he's watching? Oh, yeah, man. Keep your head up. Uh, <laughs> they got you locked down. They can have your body, but they can't have your mind. <laughs> well, yes. Fantastic. Hey, wow, that's, fan that's beautiful words. That's in more than enough. <clears throat> now, I want to talk about you uh, as a humanitarian as well. Uh, you do so many good things. I, really, I told you this before when you were on the show. You donated a uh, million dollars to uh, public schools in Chicago. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I think more people should, should, should do that and, and take, uh, you set an example and, and do what you do. And uh, this year, you just uh, surprised everyone. You donated a, a million dollars to uh, mental health services. Yeah. Uh, this is, <laughs> it's very cool of you to do that. What, what, made, what made you get involved with the, the mental health services? I've just noticed that there's a higher frequency in, like, my friendships or relationships uh, where there's, uh, you know, mental health issues. Like, it's just closer to me than I thought it was, is, I guess, the best way to put it in, in a multitude of different situations and relationships. And I think once I found out about it and realized the stigma behind getting help or getting treatment, uh, me and the people at Social Works, which is my nonprofit in Chicago, came together and put together a plan for supporting a few already standing uh, mental health facilities in Chicago that practice uh, mental wellness in a bunch of different ways. And then also creating a new database uh, for all the mental health care facilities and programs and organizations in Chicago so that people can find help really easily and kind of get rid of the fear behind getting help. You know yeah. what I mean? Good for you. I like you doing. That's the answer. Talk about it. That's really cool. I like that you do that. And it's on and on and on.